Okay, this is gonna be tail ending your workout now. And it's all about core function and how we can rationally functionize our core. So in a thought process where we just don't do movements for the sake of because they're quote unquote core. We actually understand and attain to the deliberate strategy that we know will cause a relationship from the brain to the body that organizes the muscles that are required to do the next few movements. We're gonna go into what's known as a wood chop. So this is obviously an adapted wood chop and we're gonna use, see the band? We're gonna use the band again, but you've got to extend it now. So you're not folding over the band, you've got to extend it fully. From there, we're gonna use them dumbbells and we're gonna go into what's known as stiff legged dead lifts for the hamstrings, lower back and midsection ultimately. And we're gonna combine that with an advanced strategized movement at the same time, still known as the stiff-legged deadlift. Okay, so these are your next couple of movements and will be the tail end. After this one, get on that skip. And when you get on that skip, go for about two minutes on that skip. So, one shot. Grab the band with the opposing hand. Pull it as far as you can with resistance. Cup the hand with the other hand and then you're going to be going down so you want to go to about hip so my left hip here so it's going to be your right isn't it my left hip i want the band to go towards my left hip without myself exaggeratingly rotating i don't want that rotation i want to keep my abdominal nice and tight so belly button is in line with you and that's kind of where i want it to be so from here, belly button in line, arms being pulled down. Now because you've worked your shoulders, because you've worked your triceps, because you've worked your chest, they are all involved and they're pre-exhausted, but they're also assisting. But they're not gonna assist you as much now because they're tired. So you're gonna get a real good, deep intercostal, oblique, tight stomach feeling throughout every single repetition. That's what you should do. Now. When you get to the latter stages of the rep, so we're gonna get around 12 each side, I think I've done around eight, and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna start getting tired and you're gonna to wanna to rotate, you're gonna to wanna to rotate, don't resist that temptation to rotate. Keep everything nice and tight, like that. And then we go to the other side, again, hold it with the other side, hold here. And you can see what I look like from the rear. I'm not rotating, I'm not expanding on my rotation. I'm not exaggerating it, I'm not going all the way over. Keep my head straight, keep my body in line. See my leg? Real solid. That leg, real solid. This, real solid. Hold it a little bit at the bottom. Don't know how many I've done. And from there, you're gonna grab these dumbbells here. Pick them up carefully. You're gonna hold them in front of your thigh, like that. You're gonna hip hinge. You're gonna allow the weight to come down your thigh so your knuckles are scraping your thigh. Pass your knee down your shin as low as you can without sacrificing your back. So we don't want that nice and tight so you're going to get that tightness in the hamstring that's what you want and i want you to go top of the knee with your knuckle no further than that top of the knee every time you go down go down a little bit lower because your hamstrings they're going to be given that freedom because they're warm now and they've been stretched so it's like an elastic band the more that you try and manipulate that, that elastic band the more it's going to be stretched to your advantage and it's the same thing with the muscle the muscle is now getting stretched every single time. Every single time that you go down, that muscle has got the ability to stretch itself a little bit more. Tight, going up. Tight, going up. Tight. So every time you go down, keep it tight. Your lower back's gonna start aching as well. So when you get 10, this is what I want you to do. Which go down, Hold it at the bottom, then come right.
lights up. There's that stiff-legged full deadlift that I was talking about. Go right down to the ankle, come right up. So now you've got a lot more flexibility. And you're bypassing the hamstring here, going to the glutes and to the lower back. You might even be feeling the trapezius as well. So what this looks like, all the way, all the way. And you're gonna get some lower back tightness at the same time, all the way. All the way. All down to your muscle fibers are adapted. So what's known as a protein filament sliding theory is what you're working here. So there's more muscles getting activated, more amino acids getting activated at the lowest point of the stretch. And then what they're doing, they're carrying the muscle to go right over. So you're allowed to go that little bit more. So once you get 10, we're gonna go shin level. Then we're gonna go knee level. Shin level, full level. Let's do that again. Let's do it another 10 times. So that was one. So we go shin, knee, shin, full, two. Shin, knee, shin, full, three. Shin, knee, shin, full, four. Shin, knee, shin, full, five. Shin, Knee, shin, full, six, shin, knee, shin, seven, shin, shin, eight, shin, nine, tight, stinging, warming, good, pumping, dirty, one more, knee, shin, boom, down, gently. And that is your home workout. Hopefully you found that of value. And once again, thank you for subscribing to not only the YouTube channel, but for being on my PT Hub as a member. Hope that was of value.